How long should you wait before taking Suboxone? Suboxone is a medication that helps treat opioid addiction and manage withdrawal symptoms. But taking Suboxone is not as simple as starting or stopping it whenever you feel like it. You need to follow a specific timeline to get the best results and avoid any potential harm. In this video, we'll answer all your questions about Suboxone, including how long you should wait before starting, what happens if you stop too early or continue after the ideal timeline, and much more. Suboxone is a brand name for buprenorphine and naloxone, two drugs combined to treat opioid addiction. Buprenorphine, an opioid partial agonist, triggers the same receptors as opioids but with weaker effects. It reduces cravings and withdrawal symptoms while avoiding the high experience when taking opioids. On the other hand, the opioid antagonist naloxone blocks opioid receptor sites, preventing further opioid use. Suboxone is taken as a sublingual tablet or film that dissolves under the tongue and can only be prescribed by a doctor with a special license. Suboxone can cause side effects like sleepiness, stomach pain, nausea, headache, anxiety, or irritability, constipation, and difficulty sleeping. These side effects are normal for the first few days and should eventually disappear. However, you should call your doctor immediately if they worsen or don't improve. Opioid addiction starts with a euphoric feeling that slowly evolves into physical dependence. When you suddenly stop taking opioids, it can cause severe withdrawal symptoms like muscle aches, agitation, anxiety, nausea, vomiting, insomnia, diarrhea, cold sweats, or fever. Suboxin helps reduce these withdrawal symptoms while protecting against relapse. It's crucial to stick with the recommended dosage and not increase or decrease it without consulting your doctor. You have to be in withdrawal before you start taking Suboxone. Otherwise, the medication won't have any effect and could even cause severe side effects. Wait until your opioid levels are low enough. Otherwise, you can experience severe reactions. Taking Suboxone too early, when your opioid levels are still high, could make the process challenging and cause more severe side effects. Your doctor must monitor your withdrawal symptoms to determine how long you should wait before taking Suboxone. Generally, most doctors recommend waiting at least 12 hours after your last opioid use before starting treatment. If you take a long-acting opioid, you'll need to wait even longer, up to 24 hours or more. When you seek help from a Suboxone clinic, you'll undergo a screening process, and the doctor will determine how long you should wait. You have to wait because you need your body to go into withdrawal and lower your opioid levels enough before starting Suboxone. Taking Suboxone before experiencing opioid withdrawal symptoms can lead to induced withdrawal and severe physical or psychological effects. Suboxone treatment can effectively treat opioid withdrawal symptoms and help prevent relapse. However, it is also only one part of the treatment. You may also need to attend counseling sessions or other therapies. Finding the right treatment plan for your specific case can be overwhelming, so it's essential to consult a doctor specializing in treating substance abuse disorders. With their guidance, you can find the best approach and put yourself on the path to long-term recovery. SuboxoneDoctor.com can help you find a qualified doctor specializing in treating opioid addiction with Suboxone treatment. Our online directory can connect you with a doctor near you. Contact us or check out our website to get started today.